Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I just put out a video earlier today, but I um, just saw news that uh, Aaron Carter has passed away at 34 years old. So I kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, I don't see anyone else uh, mentioning that he had uh, tried to reach out to Kanye West right before he passed away. Um, and so I, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the circumstances here, obviously, uh, for people who don't know who Aaron Carter is, he is the the younger brother of Nick Carter, who was famous for being a pop singer in the Backstreet Boys. If you're around my age, um, you're, you'll be familiar with the Backstreet Boys. You'll know who these people are, but not everybody does. So I'll go a little bit into the background there. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know. My last two videos have been totally demonetized. Surprise, surprise. So I just want to say thank you to every single person who supports my work so I can continue to do this stuff. Um, I have links for my Venmo and Cash App in the video description. You can also support me. You can become a monthly supporter uh, on Locals. And we have a nice community there and it's growing um, more and more, which I really appreciate, guys. And I just, you know, I thank everybody so much that helps out um, and supports my work. It means a lot to me and it lets me do this for you guys and bring you more stuff and hopefully better uh, content. So here's an article from CNN announcing that he died at 34 years old today. Um, it's The circumstances around his death are pretty strange. Like we know that he was found dead in a bathtub. I'm going to go ahead and just presume that he died of a drug overdose or he was on drugs and then passed out in the bathtub and then drowned or something like that. Uh, but let's go ahead through the article. Aaron Carter, a former child pop singer and younger brother, brother of Backstreet Boys, Nick Carter, has died. A source close to the family told CNN he was 34. A spokesperson for the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Department told CNN they responded to a call for help at Carter's Lancaster, California home Saturday morning around 11 a.m. local time where a deceased person was found at the scene. He was found dead in his bathtub, the source said. Authorities gave no information about a possible cause of death. Carter, who first found fame as a boy with pop songs like I Want Candy and Crush on You, is survived by his 11-month-old son, Prince. Guys, it's it's so tragic. I think all of these child stars, um, I think they all have very tragic lives. I think that they're at a very young age exploited and pimped out and um, subjected to uh, A, if you know what I mean, from a real young age. And I think that it uh, messes with them their entire lives. You know, just look at Amanda Bynes. Um, Lindsay Lohan, all of these uh, child stars, quote unquote, I think that they all go through this. And, you know, look at Britney Spears, right? She had a younger sister, Jamie Spears, very similar to like Nick Carter and Aaron Carter, right? Where they tried to grift off of like the fame of the older sister by kind of pimping out the younger one too and giving them a career when they really didn't have any talent anyways. It was just all a big grift for people to make money. So I find the whole thing incredibly grotesque. The whole industry there. Anyways, his debut album, Aaron Carter, was released in 1997, and he performed uh, as the opening act for the Backstreet Boys earlier that year. His fifth and final studio album, Love, was released in 2018. Carter was known for his roles on television shows such as Lizzie McGuire on Disney Channel. So Miley Cyrus is another one where you can clearly look at these people and see that they have been very, very damaged by the life that they have led and the things that they have been exposed to um, and that they all have handlers and things like that. The Disney Channel, yes, there have been um, many actors who have come forward and have talked about uh, being a child star or having being working on the Disney Channel and being subjected to A, 
and exploitation. Uh, he was also on Seventh Heaven, which debuted on the WB television network. He appeared on his family's reality series on E! Entertainment, House of Carters, where, again, it was just kind of grifting off of the, the family fame or whatever, the, off of the brother, and then kind of trying to make a whole family grift out of it. I think that the Lohans did the same thing. They all tried to grift off of Lindsay Lohan, her mother, her dad. And it's just so sad. The singer received an outpouring of love and support from fans and other celebrities in 2017 after he came out as confused. There's something I'd like to say that I feel is important for myself and my confusion that has been weighing on my chest for nearly half of my life, Carter wrote on Twitter. This doesn't bring me shame, just a weight and burden I've held on to for a long time that I would like lifted off of me again. Really, really sad. He explained that at around age of 13, which is, by the way, is around the time he said that his own sister was molesting him, he became attracted to the, the same sex, right? And think about that. Think about what that means. If you're, if you're, sis, if you're a boy, a, a young boy, he said 10 to 13 years old, she did that to him. If you're a boy and your sister is um, aring you and molesting you, yeah, maybe you would not be attracted to women uh, if a woman hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you become confused. So that's just something I want to put out there. I don't know, you know, for sure no one can speak for another person. I just think that, like, it's very, very sad. His entire life sounds incredibly tragic and incredibly sad. The singer opened up in 2019 in an episode of The Doctors about his battle with multiple mental health issues, including MPD, multiple personality disorder, schizophrenia, acute anxiety, and manic depression. And I just want to say, guys, this does not come out of nowhere. All right. A lot of this stuff, I believe, is the result of a that has happened to somebody, especially at a young age and continued abuse throughout their life. You know that the symptoms of from that trauma might present in a way that resembles schizophrenia or something like that. And multiple personality disorder in particular, um, that I think is in my opinion, and I'm not an expert, you know, I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a doctor, but I do believe from my own research that that is tied to early, early childhood abuse. And I mean, from like the age of three by an adult, by an adult perpetrator, I think the mind shatters. And I think that it separates in an attempt to uh, preserve the psyche and the soul of a child that has been hurt by an adult. And I think they create multiple personalities in order to survive. So I'll just put that out there. Uh, and he says, this is my reality, holding up a plastic bag of multiple prescription bottles and a clip featured on the show's Facebook page, The Doctors. In 2017, he was arrested for DWI and having... Um, marijuana uh, on him and then he said that he didn't have any problems he didn't need help blah 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 so there's an article here and i'll link to this stuff in the video description saying you know what happened to him fame to misfortune which was written in july of 2022 so just earlier this year just a couple months ago as his life was very obviously spiraling out of control uh, this is his official twitter account i have checked and looked it up his last tweet was on november 3rd and he was trying to reach out to kanye west yo kanye Let's talk man to man, which is interesting for a couple reasons. I will start with this um, video clip here where he mentions the music industry. Sony and Steve Zapp screwed me. They took all my masters and they fucking straight up like, you know, no offense, but they like Jude me, you know, and I don't I don't like that shit. Sony and Steve Zapp screwed okay, me. Okay, so he said that he was screwed by Sony and Steve Jobs. I'll play it. This one's a little bit longer, so I'll let Sony you hear it. Sony and Steve Zapp screwed me. They took all my masters, and they fucking straight up, like, you know, no offense, but they, like, Jewed me, you know? And I don't, I don't like that shit. So I will be pursuing a lawsuit, a big lawsuit, and I have hired one of the biggest uh, entertainment litigator attorneys 
Donnie and Okay, so obviously that lawsuit did not happen as nice. far as I know. Oh my god. And if it did, it was not successful. So here's another video he put out on Instagram. These were both from Instagram from I think a couple years ago where he addresses that prior video. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. Mm -hmm. I, love you. I love you too. I can't believe it came in that fast. Maybe they saw me like publicly talking about them. Yes, I'm part Jewish. The dirty Joe, by the way, I know who you are. Guess what? Get the fuck out of here. People are trying to make out a thing, uh, make a thing out of me saying um, that I got Jewed by um, uh, Sony Records. It's a saying. I'm also Jewish. So I can't get in trouble for it. And uh, Jewish people do run the industry. I happen to be one of those Jewish people. That's a bizarre okay. statement. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're good to go. Very interesting. I guess this is at a time oh. where his girlfriend or his fiance was pregnant. People were asking her if she has any morning sickness. I just thought it was very interesting because these were from a couple of years ago. So um, obviously Kanye has made similar statements about the industry and uh, people that have screwed him over uh, in a business sense. So here is another article where they talk about Aaron Carter um, resorting to making corn, if you know what I mean, uh, for a live audience following his fiance Melanie's adult entertainment debut. So both of them had essentially turned to prostitution. And I think it's obvious just by looking at them physically, you can see that they're obviously using drugs. So I'm not trying to suggest that he was taken out or something like that because he wanted to talk to Kanye. No, clearly this is a troubled man that has issues with uh, alleged mental illness and substance abuse issues. I just thought it was very strange, though, and I thought I would bring it to your attention because I didn't see anyone else talking about it. Uh, this is him and his girlfriend or his fiance or something. Um, in the article where they talk about them resorting to what is essentially prostitution. Now, also interesting is that she was arrested for domestically abusing him. And we just did. Look at the last video, and I will link to that video here. Um, so you can click it and watch the last video I just did was talking about OnlyFans model Courtney Clenny, who murdered her own boyfriend and clearly had been abusing him. So we've had Johnny Depp. We've had um, Christian, uh, I cannot remember his last name, but Courtney Clenny's boyfriend. We've had Aaron Carter. There are a lot of male victims of abuse by crazy women. And um, it's something that we're seeing more and more uh, which I think is very sad. Um, but I think that there are a lot of male victims of abuse out there. I think they just don't talk about it. So just once again, very, very interesting things going on here. Um, so uh, I guess she announced she was pregnant after she had suffered a miscarriage earlier that year. Their child, Prince, is now 11 months old, and now he doesn't have a father anymore. Very, very sad. This is a picture of him with uh, Nick Carter, his brother, who was, you know, very famous at one point for being in the Backstreet Boys. And then this is an article here, and again, I'll include all the links in the video description, where uh, he accuses Nick Carter of aring a girl in their family and, I guess, um, uh, essaying him as well. Uh, so he said his sister Leslie had done that to him. He said Leslie already molested him between the ages of 10 and 13. And uh, then he made allegations against his brother as well. So it's very, very sad. Um, the sister also was bipolar. Uh, she was on medications. And then I guess she went off her medication and she died of an overdose uh, back in 2012. So he has talked about... Um, you know, assault and things like this uh, with the family. And this is the a picture of all of the siblings together. So there are three girls and two boys. And interestingly enough, um, Aaron Carter had dated both uh, Lindsay Lohan and Amanda Bynes 
before uh, in the past. So it's just very tragic. It certainly seems like all of these people, all of these child stars, all of these Hollywood celebrities are subjected to exploitation and abuse by a wicked industry that I believe should not exist. Anyways, I want to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the uh, video, or I'm sorry, let me know in the comment section. Do me a favor if you can, like, share the video if you enjoyed it. Anyways, um, I, I'm, it's unfortunate to say, but like, I'm not surprised that he passed away. He seemed to have uh, an issue with drug abuse his entire life. Um, but anyways, hopefully we'll learn more as more information comes out. Um, but that's, yeah, that's my thoughts about this. I just thought it was really strange. Kanye West has been in the news recently. He's been talking about things that I guess Aaron Carter had talked about too a while ago. And um, yeah, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Ring!